screen, but this week we're going to go over wet switches. Now wet switches work very similar to float switches in that they turn the system off if we detect water. The difference is this actually has two circuits going through it, both 24. Let's break those two down. We're hoping that if you have a better understanding of these, troubleshooting them and installing them will be that much easier. Keep in mind, this wiring diagram is in the package that these come in, but we wanted to break it down a little for you. So if we come in here, we're gonna look at the first circuit coming off the R of the equipment, comes through and pigtails. It pigtails with the red and the green, but let's follow that green. This green comes in and goes to our normally closed switch. While it's closed, it's gonna allow 24 to go through our orange wire that's then pigtailed in to our R terminal on the thermostat. Now to keep that loop going, we have to have that common wire off that thermostat coming all the way over, and pigtailing here with the black, but we'll get back to that, which allows it to come back to the common. So we have created our first 24 volt loop. That loop is going through this switch that's gonna shut that thermostat off if this detects water. Now, the second thing a wet switch does is it has a light and can be audible, but we're just gonna stick with the light for now that engages when this switch is no longer closed. That loop is this one right here. So the same R terminal, one single wire is pigtailed in again with the green and red. But now we're gonna follow that red down and it's just gonna come straight to this puck. It's gonna come out this black wire here, which is then pigtailed back in with our common as you saw before and goes through. So we now have two loops. This one that goes through the switch to the thermostat and all the way back. And this one that just goes from your equipment to your puck and back. The reason this one's here again is if this one opens and we no longer have power to our thermostat, not only do we get a blank thermostat if there's no batteries installed, telling the homeowner and ourselves that there's something wrong, we also get a bright red, we're gonna pretend this is red, light that comes on that again, second way to tell us and the homeowner that there's an issue.